What is going on guys? Broly Gains here, finally back at you with another video. And today we are going to go over my upper body, i.e. shoulder warm-up routine. So let's get started on this, okay? Here we go, seven minutes of this awesome warm-up. I love it. It's something that I've been doing quite religiously. Um, I've been doing it for a long, long time personally. And hopefully that isn't picking up the audio. Um, but yeah, it's something that I think a lot of people should probably look into doing. Um, it's it's something that's well, it, it's overlooked quite a lot. Um, if you think about um, how often we're using our shoulders, how many injuries people have with like impingements, everything like that. Excuse me, I'm just trying to central <laughs> center myself. It's quite embarrassing. Uh, let me just move. Let's, let me shrink down and move myself. Uh, so over here, I'm doing some band pulls. Okay, I'm doing some shoulder dislocations with the band. That's just making sure that all the ligaments around this area are completely warmed up. Um, also, I like to do this to keep um, a lot of shoulder conditioning, especially for the likes of, uh, you know, putting on a t-shirt when you're older. You know, that, that motion starts to get really difficult. So I'm glad that I can still, you know, reach quite far back. Um, so then what I did there, I did some, some like, almost like a bench press or like a pull just to warm up the rear delts. This here is a little ex this up here is an exercise I've been doing thanks to a physiotherapist that I've seen. And what that's helped me do is properly engage my rotator cuff, um, all the muscles in that area, because um, I found out that I've been getting in, uh, a pain here, and that's predominantly been, that's what's happened there, is that's radiating from, a, from somewhere back there. So this is helping me engage those muscles fully and properly start working them. So... It's not the easiest, um, it's quite uncomfortable. Well, not uncomfortable, I can feel that it works. And then next up, just a couple pullovers or pull downs, whatever you want to call them. Again, just to get the lats engaged. If you're doing chest, if you're doing bench press, flat bench or something, you want to make sure that you're engaging when you're down in the bench position. You engage everything, including the lats. With the bench press, it's not just your chest that's working, it is your lats, your shoulders, your chest, your triceps forearms, abs, everything. But now, as you can see here, I have a pull. I'm now doing proper shoulder dislocation, so I'm doing the control. Now, I used to be very, very, very stiff. Um, and now, because I've been doing this consistently, I've, in comparison to when I record this, I actually feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more flexible and nimble, um, bringing back my shoulders down to there, uh, it's, it feels easy. As you can see, my hands are quite far out. Before, I kept them close together, and I'll be back and forth, back and forth, really easily now. This here is an exercise that I um, copied from Juji Mufu. So this is really good. Usually, what would happen is at the end here, I would have a plate on the end just to add a bit of weight, so I can um, add a bit of control in there. But again, this is all just opening up my shoulders, getting that additional blood flow into the area okay obviously check and see if i'm still in frame next up again another thing that juju mufu swears by is doing some form of dynamic stretching so i'll start doing arm swings i'll do like the bear hugs i'll start doing them hands together up and down i'll try to do them quite um quite intensely then after i do that what i'll do is i'll do single arm um circles there we go the single arm circles I'll move over to the, the other side. Again, I'm trying to keep up the good tempo in here. I've been doing these consistently and I've found that my shoulders are cracking and crunching less and less and less and less every time that I do this, which is awesome. As you can see, I'm really kind of going for it, you know. Um, I feel like a, a bit of a tool when I do it, but I know that the benefits outweigh how I feel, you know, um, but sweet. Next up, we're going to add a little bit of weight to get some more blood into the area. I pick a lightweight, 2.5 kilograms, something like that, and I'll do some shoulder rotations. So this is something that Eddie Hall does. I'll do some front raises, a little bit of momentum, a little bit of twist of the hands as well, the forearms and the elbows. And then I should come over to lateral raises. There we go, into the lateral raises. So we're just warming up everything that the anterior, the medial, the posterior delt, the traps, the rotator cuff, everything, everything in this area, man. Because let's face it, if this, if this part of your chest here, your chest all obviously links into here, your shoulders, but over 
I think over 20 different muscle insertions. Any of those screw up, you're gonna you're gonna have a bad time, a very bad time. So we need to make sure that that doesn't happen ever or whatsoever. So next up, I don't know what, can't remember what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm doing external rotation. So there we go. Now comes in. Let me just move myself. Yep. So again here, doing some internal rotation, pulling it out. That's an internal rotation. Then I'll go to external rotation. That's basically pulling it out again, working all of these areas. Just want to keep flexible. I want to keep healthy for as long as possible. I want to be flexible. Um, and it's something that I have overlooked for a long period of time as a flexibility and my longevity with all my joints um, and everything like that. So I'm glad that I've started to get quite a cohesive routine together. Yes, it takes 10 to 20 minutes to do this, but these 10 to 20 minutes invested in your body every session, whether it be lower body or upper body, is going to massively benefit you. It's, it's, it's something that I think everyone should do for the benefits. Now, next up, we are going to use the Theragun um, let me just I think I'm going to move myself here again. There we go. Hello. Now we are here with Mr. I think I'm looking in the right direction. Hello, Faye. Um, or hello, Faye. How are you doing? We're now doing uh, some Theragun um, treatment. It's kind of like doing like a mini sports massage. So I will go, I'll go over my chest, over the trap. I'll go to my rear. So what I'm doing there is I'm trying to get right into my weak spot to loosen up that muscle. My shoulder blades are really tight. My rotator cuffs really tight. Um, I come into the chest to make sure that's nice and loose, especially when I'm doing a lot of incline work. I want to make sure that I'm not tight. I don't know if this was a lot chubbier back then. Or maybe it's just a hat and the light. Maybe that's what it is. It's contouring my face. Yeah, I would do the same again the other side. I'm wearing a lot of layers, by the way, because in this video, because it was so, so, so warm. Oh my gosh, was it warm. Um, yeah, let's... So let me go through this. I'm just gonna use the Theragun. It's quite a nice addition to my gym. I really um, I love the fact that I have something like this. It's proven to be quite beneficial. And keep hydrated, guys. Always keep it hydrated. See, check this guy out, man. Jeez, what's he all about? And I think that is it. Yeah, that is it for the video. So thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, this is something that you're going to implement in your own routines please execute your warm-ups and your mobility work. It will help you. All right, guys. Roll again out. Peace.